1929, Valentine's Day. Most people send flowers or chocolate on February 14th, but not Scarface. The most infamous gangster of them all, Al Scarface Capone, rose to power by sending a Valentine the world will not soon forget. North side of Chicago, neighbors hear noises from a garage down the street. Inside this grisly scene, seven dead bodies riddled with bullets. The garage was the hangout of Capone's rival, George Bugs Moran. At around 10.30 a.m., Moran's henchmen were waiting for their boss when two uniformed policemen raided the joint. Bad luck, boys. The police were actually Capone's men in costume. Hello, boys. Uh, something I can do for you? Yeah, you can shut up. <laughs> I'll line up all of you. Face that wall. Uh, you, over there. Come on, move. No way. You two. All right, you two, let's go. Listen, Buster. You better be kidding. Move. How's he, flat feet? Wait till you hear about this downtown. Move! Right. Hey! You! You on the car! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, sir, I'm just a mechanic here. Let's go. All I do is work on the automobiles. I don't move. know what to do with these people. Come on. Move! Hands on a wall. Costume. Capone's phony cops lined Bugs goons up against the wall, and then the rattle of Tommy guns rang out. Frank, can you hear me, Frank? Who shot you, Frank? Who did it? Who shot you? But Capone's men missed the main target, Bugs Moran, because he showed up late for the meeting. Good day to sleep in, Bugs. Even though Moran... Nobody. Nobody shot me. Your brother's dead. They're all dead. Come on, who did it? Even though Moran lived, his gang was in shambles. The mob wars were over. Capone became the undisputed boss of the Chicago underworld, and no one was ever convicted for the killings. But it had another effect. One Scarface didn't see coming. John Q. Public realized how bad mob violence had become and put pressure on law enforcement to put an end to it. The famous Fed, Elliot Ness, and his untouchables went after Capone. In two years, he was convicted of tax evasion and sent to the big house, Alcatraz. Over the ages, billions of Valentines have been sent, some from lovers, some from secret admirers, but none of them have... I've got to tell you, Frank, you're not going to make it. You want me to get a preacher? No. Just leave me alone. You don't want to let them get away with this. Come on, help us. It's cold. It's awful cold. Fix this thing, will you? Secret admirers, but none of them have lived on like Al Capone's message to a rival gang in 1929. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre.